The day was just like any other day, you know, we came, had class and everything, and then we were, you know, assembled for a meeting. I thought maybe we were going to talk about the season and what we're doing, you know, what's going to happen, you know, some new things coming in. Or And we had uh, one of the board members there, and um, Robin and a couple of other people, and I don't know, they looked pretty serious, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I, mean, I felt like they are going to fire one of us or something like that, or... I don't know, but uh, they kind of just spilled spilled the bad stuff to us. Um, I didn't know what to say. I was pretty spe uh, speechless. Um, it was it was sad. And a lot of people were actually you know crying and you know because you know they live in Omaha and it's hard for them. They have families and houses and so on. What I remember is that looking on the board for the schedule that day and seeing that class was cut short and out and that there was supposed to be some sort of meeting in the studio and I was like, oh my gosh, what have we what have we what could we have done that's like so bad that we have to have like this big meeting already. It's been like two weeks. And then this guy in a suit walked into the studio and so I thought, oh that can't be very good. I guess I didn't really know what to say or what to feel. I mean I knew the other dancers had been here for you know, three, five, ten years, but I, I was pretty new, but I felt, you know, pretty helpless. I think everyone was pretty shocked. I don't know if we just thought it would continue on forever, but a lot of us have been here a long time and worked together a lot and had plans, and it's, it's your life. It's what you're used to and what you're working hard for. It just felt like it was a nightmare. I just didn't think that it was real, that this could actually be happening, that professional dance was dead in Omaha, that that was no longer there. And when I heard the news that it was folding, I was depressed and, I mean, it wasn't just me. I was looking around and everybody was devastated. Everybody was crying and we just didn't know what to do from there.
My name is Erica Overturf. I'm the Artistic Director of Valley, Nebraska, and we started the company in 2009, founded the company, uh, when we heard the news that Omaha Theatre Valley would be closing. And a little bit about my background, I'm from Dubuque, Iowa, and I went to college at the University of Utah at their dance department. And then I danced professionally in Alabama. I performed with Montgomery Ballet and Alabama Ballet. And then I came to Omaha, where I've been for six years, uh, dancing with Omaha Theater Ballet and also working um, choreographing and became resident choreographer. We got to do a really nice variety of classical work, contemporary work, working with new choreographers and then learning classics. So um, that was a good experience. And then what turned out really well for me was getting to choreograph a lot, which I really have a passion for. And so uh, the longer I was there, the more I was able to do. And um, that was really, really rewarding experience. Uh, getting to choreograph on professional dancers um, is an opportunity that a lot of people get. And so it allows you to really do anything you want. Anything you think of, anything you can dream of, you can do. We were called in for a special meeting. Um, we were given the news that Omaha Theater Ballet would be closing and that they were at the point when um, that decision was basically a final decision. Any efforts that could be made had been made and, um, you know, this was, was the news and this would be our last season. So instantly, I guess, my mind went to action. How can we, you know, this is important. We've got to, we've got to keep dance here. How can we um, do that? And so um, when it was clear that the Omaha Theater Ballet was, you know, was going to close if we wanted to keep dance here, which we did, <laughs> um, we were going to have to to start something new and start a new company. So that's what we did. Hi, I'm Natasha Grimm. I'm a company dancer with Valley Nebraska, and I've been dancing since I was seven years old. So it's a huge part of my life. I've been dedicating my whole life to it. And I'm actually from Council Bluffs, Iowa, so it's very convenient to be dancing. I first heard of Valley Nebraska from Erica. Um, we were trying to figure out what to do from that point, and um, Erica Overturf and Sarah both stood up, and they decided to do something about it and save ballet, and I'm so happy, and they asked me to be a part of it, and of course I would love to. This is my hometown, and I would hate to see anything happen to the arts. Hey Jim, it's Erica. I was just calling to let you know that um, we're probably going to be there after 7 because we're still fiddling around with the costume and getting the wings attached and stuff. So, but we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Are we good? That's good for, yeah, good for now while we take a look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my sister's bridesmaid. Is it really? Yes. Well, they were lucky girls. <laughs> we're out here today doing a photo shoot for Midsummer Night's Dream. We're hoping that this summer we can get our photos put together for all of our shows next season. So Midsummer was the last piece of our puzzle that we still had to find the photos for. So we wanted to do just a really pretty, glamorous photo of Natasha to represent a fairy from Midsummer Night's Dream. So hopefully we got it, because it's hot out here, and muddy, and soggy, and there's ants. To get the company started, it takes things coming together from about a million different directions. Uh, the first step we knew was to apply for our nonprofit status. Um, once we had that, we knew we'd be able to accept donations and apply for grants. You have to be a nonprofit to get most of that type of funding, and ballet companies depend on a really large percentage of their operating funds come through donations and grants. So we started working on that end of things right away. Also, um, in order to put on a season, we had to start deciding what shows we were going to do, look at venues, you know, in the meantime, get dancers lined up and, you know, just get everything, um, everything going. So as far as the summer period, um, we have all of that stuff figured out, what shows we're going to do, where they're going to be. Um, but it's constantly just trying to build relationships and get in touch with people in the community, let them know we're here, and everybody's been just wonderfully receptive to us. We have so many ideas of really neat ways for Ballet Nebraska to get involved with other groups and make ballet 
and dance accessible um, by reaching out to other groups. So we've, we've had a really good response. When we reach out to people and say, hey, this is who we are, here's what we do, we have a really ne neat idea of how you could get involved with us. People, people really love it. I'm Matthew Carter, and I'm a company dancer. I used to dance with Ohio Ballet, Lake Erie Ballet. I was a dancer with uh, Lake Ballet Trocadero de Monte Carlo for several years, and I was also with Omaha Theater Ballet. My last production with Omaha Theater Ballet was actually Swing, 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 which Ballet Nebraska is opening with this season, but um, I had decided to retire at the end of the season prior, um, the director convinced me to stay on to do a few shows in the following season, which I did, but um, as you get older as a dancer, it's harder and harder to maintain uh, your body and for you to get your body to do the same things that it always did, so that was part of it. I was starting to feel a little bit of that constraint, um, but also I was presented with an opportunity to open a school in town um, with my business partner. And the planets were just seeming to align, so I felt like it was a good time to retire from performing and, and move on. But um, now the alignment of the planets has changed a little, so I'm, I'm back dancing. Jocelyn Museum getting ready to perform French songs, which is choreographed by Matthew. And uh, Natasha and Matthew have been rehearsing uh, for how long would you say? <laughs> like a month or something? A month mm -hmm. or so. So, and yesterday we came with Sasha and Brett, and uh, we all rolled out the Marley upstairs in the atrium. And so today they'll be performing the Pata de Twice. Um, it's in connection with the museum's. Um, French Impressionist exhibits. One of my first ballet classes, we did um, a little leap, <laughs> and I seriously had jazz hands as I was doing it. I was doing tombe pas de ray and <sighs> you just like came like, out. Can I tell you about <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs>
hard. It's all hard, but it's also really exciting. As we get closer to starting rehearsals, easier is not the right word, but I feel like a little weight lifted and a little more confident as we get closer to everything starting and the rehearsal starting because we are at that place and we are in a position where we know like we're going to be putting on the show, we're going to start rehearsals, the company is starting, you know? So that feels really good. Um, but we've kind of been building up to that. So I feel like we're in a good place right now with a uh, rehearsal start in a week. So <laughs> it's exciting. Um, and I think also too, because to get ready for that, we've, um, like I've been uh, doing some of the preparations, figuring out the casting and looking at the choreography and who's gonna stage what and when is Harrison gonna come and things like that and starting to think about that and the dancing and you know is the really is the fun part and everybody getting back together. We've all seen each other because we've been working on outreach projects and things like that. But you develop a real camaraderie um, when you work together every day in an environment like that. So It'll be fun to get that back together. Decided to go to college, went to University of Oklahoma, and got a um, Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Ballet Performance, and uh, graduated last May, and that brought me here to Ballet, Nebraska for my first year as an apprentice in the company. Swing was definitely a unique production. Most interesting for me was being lifted over Sasha's head, like running at him, him taunting me, and then you know, I just jumped, pushed off his shoulders, and he just threw me with a careless abandon over his head, and I had to cross my fingers and hope that Alberto was going to get me. <laughs> And this past May, I graduated from Mercyhurst College with a BA in Dance Performance, and I came here in August to Omaha, Nebraska to start with Ballet Nebraska. My parents were in Italy the week that I moved here, so I was by myself trying to move cross-country, and I had um, Kelsey's, the other apprentice in the company, I had her address and her email and her phone number, and we talked, and I came here not having a place to live, <laughs> which is kind of scary, and then we met up and we got an apartment the first night that I was here. Samson. Um, I came to Nebraska last year. Um, and you want to know how old I am? <laughs> okay, I'm 25 years old. I've been dancing since I was about eight. I started at a little studio in Wisconsin and um, started my professional ballet training out of high school. A city like this should have a ballet. I think that's important. Um, but just everyone was so passionate about this. You know, no one was going to take no for an answer. They were like, no. We're having ballet here. Ballet's staying in Omaha. And um, that was pretty inspiring to, to see how, how important it was to everyone and, you know, to, to be in the midst of all this. It's kind of cool. What size are your shoes? These are like a six and a half. Do they run big? Yeah. They run big. 
everybody ordered smaller than what they normally wear. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to try it and see if any of these sure. work? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Come on, sir. If you want one foot, I'll try the other foot. <laughs> I'm going to fit into both of these. <laughs> It's options. Yeah. We're giving you options. Okay, can I can fit this one or that one? Either too small or too big. Okay. You're yeah, these right. are um, pretty huge. They're but... way too big. Okay. But um, That's what Claire said. Yeah. <laughs> well, where is Claire? I don't know, but she said that. I'm Claire Goodwillie, and I'm 19 years old. I was born and raised here in Omaha, Nebraska, and I studied um, at Omaha Theater Ballet under Robin Welch since I was about six, I believe, so I guess about 13 years. We start out with the that's what she said is how it started and then I think Brett was maybe the first one who started the that's what Claire said and then Erica like loved it and like so and everyone just like sort of started doing that. I forgot we did that. I told Harrison um, about that we were starting Ballet Nebraska, he was he was really thrilled and he was like, you guys can do it. I'll help you any way I can. You know, you can do my ballets or I'll choreograph for you. And you know, it was just super, super supportive, which was exciting um, because we were taking on obviously a really big challenge starting a new professional ballet company. He is a, quite a whippersnapper. Um, I, he had so much energy that the whole day that we spent there, it felt like it was went by in two hours. <laughs> I actually wish we'd had more time with him. He had a lot to say about the style that he wanted for the piece and just, you know, any interaction you had with him was really fun because he's very lively and loud and hilarious and um, I wish he'd been there more to like help set it, but um, any time that we got with him was great. shoulder. 
and then grab their inside of their legs to flip then into like a strange hinge on the floor. Which I can't, you know, it's obviously a balletic interpretation of a fight, because I can't see anything being that choreographed, obviously. Is this this one? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Now, actually, the girls, I will say, it's a pretty lit. Two things is I don't feel like y'all are very secure coming around. Don't look at me. But when he comes here, as he goes, already you have to be, you have to be like face up into him, like wrapped on here. So this thing, both of you are holding on really loose. So as I go, do you feel like you can hold my weight? No, that's not really good. But just go a little bit, girls. You have to be like that. And all the way around the container. So, just sit here a second. So, when you come out, I'm wound. I'm like that. You're holding on like that tight and up. Does that make sense? Then the other thing is, it feels like a hard landing, but you're twisting your legs sideways. Keep them and let your feet lead and land first. Because I think that's the safest way. Just do, just do one at a time for yours. Grab it. No, no, hold on. When you're doing this right, come here, come here. Because I just say it for your safety, because you're not, you're putting your hands on the sides like this, and you have to reach around. Even if the guy grabs you, just come with the things. There, like that. So that you're going like that as you go. You ready? There you go. Good girl. So you really want to reach like that, because pulling up helps you support your feet landing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to on you. Helps you support your feet landing. Does that make sense? Does it help you when you able to do that if I get lower, or does that not do it? might. It might be a little lower to work. Yeah, good girl, there you go. So they're going to, but you want to, uh, uh, wait there, the way that you can, you're grabbing in this way. You're gonna go. But get, actually, I say, give me a second. The guys, get her up first so she can get wrapped. This is actually why I'm just gonna say, this is actually why you go between your legs. Because if I do this, wrap right around my legs. She's already there. Now that she's on the side, she can't wrap it on. So if it's on the side, it's better for y'all, that's cool. But if she's, if I go between her legs, she can already wrap on her, she can already wrap on her arms. And I do the same thing. Like, tell me if it feels better or different to you. So if you go, you wrap your hair, then I'm just kidding. Your your legs. Go. Are you okay? I do, do you feel like that was a more secure break or less? No, I think that's better. Because I don't want to change this. It's still, I'm not using my back to lift her. All it is is to get underneath her, but I still just stand straight from my back, but I think it lets them wrap both arms to me. <laughs> if that's the it's not a better for you, Right over your legs, just stand. Push her. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then at the end of it, a little bit, just uh, keep, I'd say keep your hips up. It'll help you. It makes the landing, oddly enough, a little softer. Uh, yeah. And then I hold the guys, it's cool, it's a bike, but it's a dance bike, so who cares? It's like this, you know as Butch's West Side Story is. So when you go, still hold on to her arms to know that she's connected with the floor. I think you guys are okay. You both are doing that. Thank you so much. Of course. Yesterday was our last day in the studio, which is kind of exciting and a scary moment. <laughs> um, we started off the day uh, kind of early in the morning. We went over to the scene shop to load out the entire set, see what was there, what needed work. It was kind of a rough morning for me the night before. <laughs> I got food poisoning really bad after rehearsal, so I was sick all night. <laughs> but there was no there was no getting out of work for me, so um, so we were there in the morning to do that, and then we had an in-studio dress rehearsal, which is an important part of getting ready to come to the theater. It's a chance to to try everything, try all the costumes, see what's missing, what needs to be fixed and altered, and where we're at with everything, and have the dancers try everything because the costumes throw you off at first, all the you know costume changes and everything. So it's a good way to get everything all together. So it's usually a big busy day. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to dance like I normally 
would have, but I was still there to take notes during that rehearsal um, for all the dancers and then also technical and artistic notes. So now we're here in the uh, final countdown to the first performance. Uh, so tomorrow we'll, be, we'll still be loading in, still uh, work being done on the set, still props being bought and gathered and made, uh, meetings, radio interviews, things like that. And then on Tuesday we have um, technical time on the stage, plus all the dancers will come, we'll do our spacing, we'll do a tech rehearsal that evening. On Wednesday, Harrison will be back, so that's exciting. We'll have a rehearsal with him, and we'll have a dress rehearsal on Wednesday, and we'll have our first rehearsal with the band on Wednesday night. Then on Thursday, it's our first performance, <laughs> we have a school show in the morning. Um, and the dress rehearsal with the band at night. So the school shows are without the band, so we kind of have to practice both versions. Um, Friday, similar schedule, school show, and then we have some TV interview things, and then dress rehearsal with the band. Friday night, load out all night, you know, from 9.30 to hopefully 12.30. <laughs> load out everything, costumes, sets, and everything. Again, rent a truck, get it over here, get everything ready to go so we can be at the Orpheum at 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday for a load-in, and that'll be a big day. They have to load everything in, hang everything, um, do all of the lighting, set all the cues, do all the band stuff, get everything ready, lay the Marley, Spike. I don't know, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dancers will be there in the afternoon um, to space things. If we have any time whatsoever, we'll try to walk through or run through or tech through. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes because we have a limited amount of time in the space. And then, da da da, opening night. <laughs> and then reception and at the same time load everything out. Today is Tuesday. Uh, I'm not sure what day it is, but anyway, we're in the theater uh, since uh, about 12 o'clock at class. And now we're going uh, through the whole show, uh, breaking it down, making sure we have all the props, you know, sets, uh, moving all that stuff around, um, make sure everything works. Um, basically, um, getting it all done, you know. which I actually miss doing at school. We were required to be on crew for shows, and it was one of my favorite things. It's the other way, doesn't it? I don't know how they were doing it. Did they have this? Yeah, they had new that. Oh, it's better if it's facing uh, up. Yeah. Look. We're going to pull this out a little bit more. Though. We were just working that whole week to pull everything together. The dancers even were... Um, helping make the sets. Sasha and I painted um, with the help of another lady that came in to volunteer. It was really busy. <laughs> I think we probably work well under pressure. <laughs> because the whole thing has been under pressure. Tech week was long and really tiring. 
but it actually made it feel like our show because we put it together. I actually put the little lights inside of the backdrop. Those were all single lights that we specifically placed there. That was very long, but it made it feel like something that I could be proud of not only of my dancing, but also of the show that we put up. Doing a good job, guys. Keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Omaha and I trained here and I danced here and I even danced here professionally um, for three years and while well, I got my bachelor's at the same time which was interesting um, and then I danced for six years with Valley Quad Cities in Davenport Iowa and um, after that I went to University of Iowa and got my master's in dance and then came to Valley Nebraska. For me came my hair big so it shows on stage and it looks like 40s hairdo and they never had straight hair in the 40s and apparently they spent at least an hour every day doing their hair which wow. is a little yeah. absurd how long did it take you to do this oh um, fancy do about 30 45 minutes wow That's yeah a... there's a lot of product in my hair I'm the resident hairstylist here at oh. Valley, Nebraska. It's a nice flower. You want to look at the camera and tell, you, tell them where you got it? Um, I have a Western donated this flower to me. Oh, that was nice of them. In other words, she picked it illegally. Okay. Um, that wasn't true. I just want to tell you guys that apparently the movie that we saw today, Lance said, is showing in 3D as well. It is. I heard that. Okay, let's pin them up. You want to pin them? Bruises. Oh, yeah, you want to get these bruises on camera? Um, look, look what happens when men touch you. <laughs> that is what Claire said. How this week has been, yeah. what this week has been like. <laughs> <laughs> it's been better every day. Yeah, the, the run through's been going pretty smoothly. They get better every time. Yeah? How was the first run through? A little rough for me. Yeah. <laughs> but. That just means it'll be awesome tomorrow. Good. What are you working on? I'm working on my eyebrows. Yeah? What's yes. wrong with them? I'm making them dark. <laughs> dark and bushy. <laughs> They're really good. I look like a clown. I can't stop. I mean, I need to stop staring at myself maybe in the mirror. Maybe we should put the makeup lights on. They won't look so Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm not going to look like Queen Elizabeth. Is, um, is that pretty important for the stage to have big yes. eyebrows? You need definition of the face because mm -hmm. the lights will wash you out. <laughs> Daughters it just came on my iPod and it made me miss my mom and dad. Oh, where's your mom and dad? New Jersey. Going to Jersey. 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 Probably doing mafia things. Yeah? yeah. They in the mafia? Yeah. The Ecuadorian mafia. Wow. In New Jersey. Yes. <laughs> How are you feeling, Jennifer, getting ready for this uh, last dress before the yeah, big show? Pretty good. I, I mean, like, I think we got this one in the bag. Yeah, everything go pretty well at the school show this morning. Yeah, you know, the headpieces were a little, like, flyabout-ish, but um, I think that they're under control now. Okay. <laughs> or one hopes. I don't think Erica's here, or if she's here, I can't find her. I don't, I don't think she's here. I don't think so. Um, but if everybody wouldn't mind, well, are you involved in the bed thing? Yes. yes. Yeah. At, like, maybe ten till curtain, or five till? Sure. I don't know how you feel about that. If we could have... A powwow. That would be I know that Brett fell, but there was also. I didn't fall. I was ran over. I know Brett got by ran some over, tension, but there was also some other issues with how the traffic was going. Yeah. So maybe we can just kind of map that out because yeah. this morning it was pretty bad and it was dangerous. Scary. <laughs> anyway, you don't own me. Not you. you. Not you. Not you. Yeah. No one owns me. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, say. <laughs> just myself. I just want to be myself. Okay, I'm going to warm up now. Swing technically was a hard show because it's high energy. 
There were a lot of steps. It was a different style um, than most of us were used to. And then you add the technical elements. That's an intense show with the sound and the... Because having the live music and then there was some recorded music and the lights and the um, projection going on and then the, the props going in and out. There were just a lot of elements that, that went in with it and it can make it very tricky to all come together. I'm like a deer in headlights in that part. I know, I see it's like going on stage backwards and like counting. <laughs> And I always try to have it. I'm like, okay, that's okay. I think we're about to go up again. It sucks that you're the first one. <laughs> Kick out on me, you guys. I'm really like doing it. Just Encouragement. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for the boost. <laughs> I didn't realize. I'm like, it just sucks that you're the first one. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> and I had been there had been some long days and you get up and you do school shows early but I think the camaraderie of tearing it down and knowing that we were going to the Orpheum that it's like hey we're all here we're gonna do it together and I have to use a power tool which is fun <laughs> take things apart and um, you know we had a couple tape wars with pulling up the tape from the Marley and it's always more fun to do things together and to have a good time than to begrudge like oh my gosh we have to load all this out and we have to like get it all in the Orpheum tomorrow, and might as well enjoy what you do. Oh, this glue! <laughs> 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 unscrew something. Everything <laughs> <laughs> else needs to be unscrewed. Hey, Lance. Yeah. Do you want to trade me? Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be any good anymore. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, yeah, we they told me, Sha. Are, are we doing the foxhole next? Is that, or no, that's going to be one of the last. That's things. the last thing. Okay. Because that's, 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 that's how I want to end it. Or, it, it gets, it gets, it's Clay's vanity. Mm -hmm. So it's this one's mine. heavy on this side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We've been here too right. long. <laughs> this I'll pass. is when I slap happiness sets <laughs> in. in. After oh, being in the theater day. since eight. Yeah, <laughs> Alberto, what are we what are we doing? Well at this point of the day I don't know anymore. <laughs> and you what are you doing? We've done everything um, as leanly as possible while still keeping a really high quality. But we, you know, we keep the schedules tight, we keep the budgets tight, and we really try to make everything work. We'll practice in one venue and then move to another in order to save money and all of those things um, to make it possible to put on the season. And so um, that's just the way that we needed to do it. Um, but everything just has to go perfectly and run smoothly and come together. Moving to the Orpheum was kind of scary. That was probably the craziest day because we only had that one afternoon at the Orpheum to space everything and get all the lighting stuff ready. And um, we didn't even like tech the last half of the show at the Orpheum. We just sort of like, just sort of, you know, went on the fly, so. <laughs> 
My name is Doyle Tipler. Uh, the band called Doyle Music Combo. It's basically uh, it's not really a group that plays together all the time. It's just kind of uh, kind of a put together musicians for occasions, and this is just another one of those occasions. Erica contacted me through Facebook actually. Um, gosh, probably in springtime was a long time ago, and she hit me up and said, "Hey, we're thinking about putting together a ballet company again and doing the show. Would you be interested?" You know and kind of exchange some ideas, some information. So I contacted the guys after Erica confirmed the dates and everything, and everything was kind of solid. And then, you, really, we only rehearsed one time. Um, we had a rehearsal the week before uh, this week. We got together, just kind of really informally at my house, and I, I bribed the guys with beer and pizza to come over so we can play through it so they wouldn't have to come in cold. And so we came over, it's been about two and a half, three hours, and played through some of the harder numbers, and got reacquainted with the books. very smoothly, there just weren't enough hours in the day. And as a dancer, as the time get, that kept ticking by, I started to get a little nervous. Not so much that we didn't make it through the entire show. We didn't uh, space the entire show or even tech the entire show before we ran it, which is a little nerve wracking, I think, for everybody, you know, like, because there's things that may go wrong and you don't know. What I started to worry about is we started um, eating into warm up time and getting ready time and just having a little bit of peace of mind before you start, and that was starting to shrink smaller and smaller and smaller. It was an interesting day. It was a little uh, stressful having just been here today. Yeah. So I feel like a little more time would have been beneficial, but I think we're gonna rock it out. I feel actually good, almost ready, never completely ready, because you know I'm an artist, so I can never be satisfied. I just have a problem with this hair, you see? Since this morning it didn't come down, is a little detail. <laughs> Come in. Must be fixed okay. somehow. Um, so anyway, for the guys, um, you can get your stuff now if you want, and okay. then just check everything over really well. I'm coming. Okay. Since we had the move and the wash, that okay. we didn't lose anything. Okay, I will, I will come now. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> so you have to go get your costumes ready. I have to go, but I have still a couple of minutes. No hurry. And you are you ready? No. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. I think that this is a monumental day for Ballet Nebraska. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited. I'm trying to find my quiet place because the band was really loud on stage. Leotard, eyelashes, Exit. hair, mole. I have my quick change. Oh, that's so too. And then I just change back into this and I come back down here after I'll be your personal attendant when you get married. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's reminding me. Oh. Don't put that on there! <laughs> I don't even have a ring! <laughs> I don't know what time it is, but I usually am running late getting ready, so I better keep pushing. <laughs> um, and uh, yesterday I was feeling great, just really calm. We did the school show, it went terrific, and 
Um, today I woke up and was like freaking out all day and there's nothing I can really do about it. Um, I think everything's going well, it's just a feeling. <laughs> So, um, but I think that once I get out there and start dancing, then um, I'm just going to not worry about anything and just have fun. That's my plan. So hopefully that will work. And then when it's over, I don't know. Anyway, this is kind of surreal, I guess. It's kind of surreal. I just, somebody was saying, can you believe it's been, you know, it's been a year and you're, you know, I'm like, no, because I just worked on it every single day. I can't believe it's been a year, but it just feels like it's been a really, really long day. <laughs> so. right before the curtain opens or the lights go on and then once they go on it's you're in the zone it's all good so it's just that just that second. that split second when you're like oh, but maybe this isn't gonna go well exciting but here was the moment of well our company debut and everything um, which is thrilling but then this is it too you know like we're telling everybody we're here and we're great <laughs> you know and I knew we were it was just a matter of hoping that every all of the technical stuff um, came together and um, it did <laughs>
describe Swing 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 as um, definitely the most energetic, fast-paced um, show that I've ever done. It was really interesting to do something other than classical ballet. Um, there was ballet in it, there was point work, but most of it was swing dancing, which was a lot of fun to learn. <laughs> great energy and it's not all classical it just had uh, you know with the swing era just something that we thought would really draw people in and then expose them to ballet but also some other styles of dance and just um, the energy of it was a great for our, us starting our season and kicking off the company what do you think? Should we go Grab. to work? Grab. Only Should if we can really? rib it and not do double pipes. Only if we can have power tools. Where are the power tools? Can we have power tools? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? You guys had screwdrivers and then your power tools. Well, we have rocks and sticks. <laughs> <laughs> rocks and sticks. Okay. 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 Pointy ones. Yeah. 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 We rib it with our point shoes. <laughs> kind of like this. I why that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And sometimes you go around twice. Sometimes you go around once and you just hop, hop, hop. <laughs> sometimes I go around twice and then I fall. <laughs> All along with rain or shine, she's a god, she's a she's making we had gotten used to doing our quick changes in the other theater, which was, there were so many costume changes with so many different people. Um, Bellina Rescue, two people helping you, and hair changes, and, you know, having to put the, your exact amount of bobby pins next to your hat so you knew where it was, and getting used to the different sides of the stage that you had to change on, and the space is completely different in the Orpheum. There's, like, a lot more backstage space behind, but not in the wings or you don't want to change there because people can see into the wings and so it's a lot different but just you know by then we were like a well-oiled machine in terms of the quick changes and you know how knowing how much time we had for everything that you know we didn't let it phase us at all. Damn we're getting good at these quick changes. We're good at these quick changes. I don't know what to do with my extra time. What's a pins are you doing? What's that? What's a pins are you doing? I need some pins. So I'm gonna scrap.
it was sort of a really neat culmination. You know, in, in one aspect, it was just, just the start, you know, of something. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, it was a culmination of now we're real, you know, now we're here, we're a ballet company, a professional company, and we've done our first show, and it happened, and we were good, and, you know, like, and here we are, and we, you know, a lot of us love each other, really, mm -hmm. and so, um, you know, it just is, it's just uh, emotional, I guess. <laughs> are here they grew up here and you know they're like let's make this happen let's do it let's do it um, I kind of thought well maybe you know maybe they need something here maybe maybe we have to stick together on this one you know maybe we maybe we better keep the ballet here you know? I'm glad you did I'm glad I stayed this is where all my family is this is my roots I don't want to leave here and I'm so fortunate enough to have a professional ballet company where I'm from, in my hometown, where I don't have to move anywhere, and I hope that it stays here forever.
I want to know whose idea it was. Put that in there. <laughs> I want to know how I really feel. 